Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up custom columns in your Google Ads account for your Google Shopping campaigns. Doing this allows you to see the most important metrics for your campaigns. This makes it a lot easier to see what campaigns are generating sales and profits and then optimize them to get better results. Everything from the impressions, the clicks, the sales to the actual profitability. Google's default column setup doesn't tell us nearly enough so I'm gonna show you how to set up your custom columns and how we do it in this video. Let's get into it. Start in your campaigns view in Google Ads. If you don't see this section, you can click this button in the upper left to expand the menu. Okay, let's go to this option in your dashboard for modifying columns. This opens up your custom options here. Now we're going to open up all columns. Here you can see how Google has organized the available columns by their type. We'll be adding the performance columns first. We'll be organizing them in a way that makes better sense for e-commerce goals. As you can see, some performance metrics are already added, but for our purposes, the order of the columns doesn't really make sense. So we're going to start fresh by simply taking out all the columns. You can do this by going over here and hitting the X on each one. Note, I'm going to leave the campaign type alone as it's going to be our first column anyway. I'm gonna explain the order of these columns that I'm recommending shortly. But in this order, I'm going to add impressions, clicks, click-through rate, shown as CTR, average cost per click, CPC, then cost. And now we want to scroll down to another column type called conversions. And we're gonna add conversions, cost per conversion, conversion rate, conversion value, which is our sales revenue, and conversion value over cost, which is our return on ad spend. Now click apply. Google will now keep this view for you anytime you're looking at this account. So let's look at the story that these columns tell us while set up in this order. The ads were seen this many times and clicked this many times at this percentage rate. It costs this much on average for each of these shoppers clicks at a total of this ad spend. The results were this many orders for which we spent this much per order to generate. Shoppers turned into buyers at this rate, which brought us a total revenue of this much. All of this resulted in a profitability ratio of this many dollars returned on each dollar spent. Okay, that's how we set up custom columns in our Google Ads account for our Google Shopping campaigns. Now that you have these metrics at your fingertips, you're going to need to learn how to actually optimize your campaigns based on what you see here. Take a look at our free Google Shopping course. It shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and then scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month. It's completely free. It's on our website. I'll leave a link down below. Also, if you're already generating 20K per month in sales for your e-commerce store and you want to take it to the next level, seven figures and beyond, book a time with my team and I. We use Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimization to scale dozens of e-commerce stores every single month. We'd love to meet with you and talk through how we would do it for your e-commerce store. I'll leave a link to our calendar down below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course and I'll see you there.